The Italian Crested Newt, Tritorus carnifex, is one of the most popular species of crested newt in the amphibian keeping hobby. Both hardy and long-lived and adaptable to a range of captive conditions, they may be kept in a paludarium type setup with part land and part water, or an almost entirely aquatic setup where they will often be visible and active throughout the year. Italian crested newts have a variable and attractive appearance, with males often being more colourful and sporting a large jagged crest during the breeding season. Adding to their variable appearance and increasing their popularity, they also come in a flavistic colour morph. Flavistic Italian crested newts have been in the amphibian keeping hobby for some time. It is believed that the original animals were collected from the ancient Roman ruins in the town of Ostia, Italy. Also known as leucistic, the flavistic morph is produced by the same gene that causes leucistics in other species, such as the axolotl that is commonly kept in the pet trade. The word leucistic means white in colour, but the leucistic Italian crested newt is normally more yellowish, and the word flavistic means yellow, so that is generally preferred, but leucistic is also technically correct. Flavistic Italian crested newts have a pale yellowish body colour, greyish spots on the belly and normally coloured eyes. This is a female Flavistic Italian crested newt. They tend to be quite uniform in colour, whereas the males, such as these, are often more spotted. Recently, another colour morph has entered the amphibian keeping hobby. This is the melanoid Italian crested newt. The melanoid colour morph is characterised by its lack of iridophores. These are the light reflecting pigments that are most noticeable in the shiny eye ring of the normally coloured newts. This means that melanoid Italian crested newts have an almost completely black appearance to their eyes, lacking that reflective shiny eye ring. They also have a darker, more black appearance to the body, somewhat similar to a melanistic colour morph but not quite the same. Melanoids also lack the small white speckles that exist on the body of normally coloured crested newts. Their belly coloration is also different. If we take a look at a melanoid Italian crested newt from underneath, we see that its belly coloration is less intense and also that the typical spotted pattern that we see in crested newts is completely absent. Also, its chin is paler than a normal Italian crested newt. In 2022, for the first time, we paired together one of these melanoid Italian crested newts with a flavistic Italian crested newt. Can you guess what the offspring from this melanoid and flavistic pairing looks like? If you've watched our previous videos on genetics, you may be able to work it out. Since one parent was homozygous melanoid, meaning it had two melanoid alleles, and the other parent was homozygous flavistic, meaning it had two flavistic alleles, this means that the offspring were all heterozygous for both the flavistic and the melanoid morphs. And here are the offspring. They're completely normal in appearance. These are what we call double heterozygous animals. Although being normal in appearance, they carry the genes of both the melanoid and the flavistic colour morph. Breeding one of these double het animals back to a flavistic would give us 50% flavistic offspring. Breeding them back to a melanoid would give us 50% melanoid offspring. But what if we were to breed two double hets together? Well, earlier this year we did exactly that. And here is the result. To date, this combination of melanoid and flavistic morphs has only been done in crested newts a handful of times. And these are some of the first images to ever be shared online. This animal is homozygous for both the melanoid and the flavistic gene, and it combines together characteristics of both of those morphs. This melanoid flavistic combo has the pale yellow body of the flavistic and the dark, almost black eyes of the melanoid. 
The melanoid flavistic Italian crested newt is believed to be the world's first combination morph in the Tritorus genus. These two young melanoid flavistics were bred here at UK crested newts earlier this year. You can see how they combine the pale yellow body coloration of the flavistic with the dark eyes and patternless belly of the melanoid. So far the animals that we've seen all follow the typical rules of inheritance, but the fun really starts with colour morphs when we see the anomalies, the freaks of nature. This flavistic Italian crested newt doesn't have the normal eyes of a flavistic, but pink eyes, almost like an albino. two Italian crested newts like this with pink eyes with no idea why they're like that. You can see they do have some dark markings so they're not true albinos. And we also have a melanoid flavistic that does have some shininess to its eye rings. Not typical of a melanoid at all. see what comes of these animals when they breed in the future and to check out other projects that we currently have going on make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching